Hello guys, me Carl Santa Zay Capricorn F5 and I'm gonna do like a die cast collection review. So as far as all these collections that I've had since 1999 when I first became a NASCAR fan, I'm gonna do it in order from the oldest die cast card to the present. So let's begin. So this is my Jeff Gordon 1999 Daytona 500 run race car. So the good thing is he actually won. So here it is. And then also here's his old, the, uh, I don't call it a diecast car, but it's like a Tonka truck, you know, really enlarged paint scheme. So. It's basically the same thing, but, you know, I had it when I was a 10-year-old and realized I always wanted to play with it, but the batteries are broken, so it'll be collected in dust, so. And here's just the steering wheel I played with to steer the, you know, Tonka truck style diecast car, so. Let's see what's next. Next. Hmm. Also, here's another one of Jeff Gordon's die cast cars. It's Rainbow Paint Scheme. And I believe I got it either in Aladdin's, Aladdin's Castle or Dave and Buster's in my local mall. So here it is. I'm going to go through die cast all these diecasts real quickly, so bear with me if you get sidetracked, so. So here's Jeff Gordon's Looney Tunes paint scheme that he ran back in 2001, so. At my local track of Richmond Raceway, so. Yeah, his paint scheme was purple, but I got the blue one here, so. Let's see, what's next? Next is the America's favorite NASCAR driver of all time, Dale Earnhardt. I got it from my cousins and relatives, so I feel blessed that I got this one. I really wasn't a fan of Dale Earnhardt, but I respected the way he raced people, so. So let's continue. Next is Jeff Gordon's 2006 DuPont paint scheme with the flames on it. This is the only diecast car where I got in his flames on his car. So, sorry guys, look like a the big one at Talladega and all these uh. Give it a few moments, guys, while I fix the tripod. Oh Ooh, I even took out the engine. Okay, give me a few moments and then we'll continue on with the next pick diecast car. So okay. Next is the Jimmy Johnson Low Chevrolet Paint Scheme run in 2008. It has Spring Cup series on here. And here is my remote controlled Jimmy Johnson car. So here it is. So the next one I will show you is 
we see the one that's recent or okay I'll do these together the Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson cars so I got these off of Fanatics so they were running the 2014 season and basically it's just one of those cool uh, paint schemes that you should collect so let's go to the next one Next, I have a Jimmy Johnson uh, thingy. It says 2011 right there. And an iPhone case. So, <laughs> I kind of believe I've collected so many, but I didn't do much collections in 2010 since I was busy with school and all that. So, I'm so glad I still have these collections in my uh, container here. Next, I have a Jimmy Johnson uh, keychain and Jimmy Johnson watch. These are kind of old anyway, so they don't work. I mean, as far as the watch is concerned. Next is the Jimmy Johnson inspired paint scheme that he ran at Fontana 2016. And he actually won the race. So Superman is his nickname. Next, I want to show you the Jeff Gordon helmet that I got at Charlotte Motor Speedway 2015. So look at how cool this looks. I wanted to get this one, so. Even though it doesn't have a signature on it, I still admire this uh, helmet design. So, that's great. Next, I have a Kyle Larson, who is my current favorite cup driver so far. You know it's 2021 because the car number is in the middle so there it is next i have a chase elliott and a ross justine diecast car along with their hoods i'll do chase elliott first right here and a Ross Chastain number 42 Clover Chevrolet hood in a die cast car. And, and a year later, he will switch to track house, which he's had the most success. So I'm glad he's able to win more races for track house. Next is Chase Elliott's uh, other paint schemes, I believe, driven in uh, 2019, I believe. The right is Caesars, Little Caesars, and the other one is Napa something something, but it's black and gold. Next, I want to show you my Haley Deegan hauler I got from the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, uh, Charlotte North Carolina. In this uh, number one Tricon Garage 4 that I got from Fanatics, it says Toter, even though she's not sponsored by them anymore. But anyways, this is one cool truck. And the good thing is, She'll be moving up to the Xfinity series and just get top 15s and top 20s on a regular basis. That's her expectations. Not ready for top 10s yet, but that's the way it goes sometimes. 
Let me show you the holler. Goody. Okay, what's next? Next, I'm gonna show you the Kyle Larson, I don't know what it's called, Poco something, something. I thought it's like a bobblehead doll, but it's not. But it looks customized, see? Okay, we're almost done here. Next, I got a Kyle Larson Freightliner Chevy that he drove in Bristol Dirt last year, which is cool. Not last year, 2021, sorry. Here it is right here. Carolina blue font number colors, whatever that is. <laughs> and then here's Kyle Larson's test car from last year, 2022 at I believe Phoenix or Charlotte, so. And finally, we're down to the home stretch. So here's the Kyle Larson paint scheme that he ran at Auto Club Speedway. Hold on, hold on. So here is, I gotta be careful to not drop everything like last time. Uh, Here's the card right here. He's win at Fontana. Let me zoom it out. Those are his stats from the race. And then the one I got today is his Jimmy Johnson, the Jimmy Johnson number 84 Carvana Chevrolet for a Legacy Motor Club. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's the only team that, I mean, he drove it for Hendrick Motorsports from 2001 to 2020, but he made the move to the investors, Richard Petty, Mari Gallagher, and now it's Jerry Johnson. So. Here's the card right here. So that's pretty much it. What did you guys think of my diecast collections so <laughs> it took me about 10 minutes to explain to y'all where i got these diecast cars and so forth like whether it's online or at a arcade store you name them they have something in my heart and in my passion and what drivers i rated for Back in the day, so sorry, sorry again. Yeah. So I make happy corner five. Hope you all enjoyed my diecast collection review video. So peace out.